wow, that's a beautiful screen we are seeing right here. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, I'm just wondering. Hey, guess who licked? Nah, bleh. Who guess who clicked on this video that you're seeing right now? Yes, you did. So now you're gonna see what happens in this video. All 10 minutes and 33 seconds. Point 20 seconds. Red screen. That is nothing to fear, folks. It's totally normal. Oh, here, here's the game. Developed by Gryptonite Games and a Foundation 9 Entertainment Studio. Ubisoft Entertainment. Dev uh, being published by Ubisoft developed by the wonderful developing game that has that beautiful intro yes that is beautiful I'm not gonna read that even I'm not even done yet halfway and it's gonna fade out anyway so just read it yourself you'll be fine Oh, that Templar Knight. Unaware of what will be his in oncoming fate. Not even his torchlight can help him. He'll be dead in five. Oh, wait. He's dead right now. Out of here. And two other assassins. Assassins in the courtyard! Yeah, don't care about them. You're gonna see that move a lot in this game. That that move that the guy, other assassin did. To the face. And the beautiful sunset. Beautiful, isn't it? With fleeing ships in the sea. So, guys and gals, welcome to my let's play of... Assassin's Creed Bloodlines. I'll be doing this differently from this LP because in previous LPs I did commentary while I was playing the game, but now I will be play I will be doing commentary after ga playing the game. Well, just the gameplay because I haven't even finished the game. I haven't even been halfway through it. I quit. I quit halfway because somehow the game was giving me a headache. I don't know how was that even possible. Just playing it for what? Five minutes and it, my mind just said, uh, it turned to slurpy. It's not even cold, just hot, dirty slurpy. Yeah, I'm just talking about anything in this loading screen because but the one thing that's bad about this game is the loading screen. It's pretty damn long. It's about a minute or even more from about 45 seconds to a minute. Even the even when you're moving to another area, it's about the same amount of time for loading. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Though it's still a good game. It's, it has that rep repeti repetition problem. The, the missions like Assault, um, Stealth, and that other thing. It's about three or four modes. Oh, here's a, the, here's a tutorial. Yeah, better. The Animus utilizes a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. Unloading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. So this game is so intelligent it put three, three movement speeds for Altair. There's walk, there's run, and there's sprint. So walk, walk casually. Two run leisurely and three sprinting away the hell from Cle Templar Knights if you hold the R button it makes Altair do a pose if you release it if you release R it it just makes him calmer and less obvious to spot now we're messing around with the cameras this is just the basic tutorials for the game like the, the running the, the climbing and the, 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 then the cameras too and the blending which kind of baffles me because these are Templar Knights. But maybe I'll explain in the loading screen later. Uh, yeah, about the loading screens, just the first loading screens here I will keep. And about in other parts, like maybe about part 3 or 4. Well, part 3, I'll remove some of the loading screens. I'll shorten them to about 5 seconds. 
so that we can keep the game as is. Short? No, I'm kidding. It's not short. There's about some some side quests here. I've done some, but some are just the same. Oh no, there's no assassin here in this vast open space. Now it's the the animus is explaining about the creed. Never kill an innocent person. Do not do not kill when in an open area. Do not have witnesses when you're killing. That's about it. That's a summary of the creed about killing. If you do the if you do like kill a civilian, you will lose a life a bar life bar because Altair's starting life bars are about five. You can upgrade those to ten and a lot. The way you gain points is when you complete side missions and collect collect things. I will explain the collectibles later because we're still here in the tutorial. We're just running around planks and climbing and running, jumping, jumping off high levels and jumping into bales of hay. That's about it. Climbing ladders. That's that's essential too. Climbing ladders. It's important to this game because without ladders, we would be nowhere in the world. If we don't have ladders, there would be no TLC matches in WWE. There would be no Ultimate X because TNA wanted a much more unique ladder match. Why did I... Why am I talking about wrestling? God. Hmm. Oh yeah, so climbing, jump off here. Because you want to sprint. Altair is energetic. He needs to exert too much energy in everything he does. Also, he beats that guy in Infamous in climbing. Even though Infamous just like cl just imitates climbing. Also, sa the saboteur. I don't know how to pro properly pronounce saboteur, but that's how I pronounce it. When you get to a high point in this in this game, like when you climb a high structure, there will be a point where you can walk onto a plank and press triangle to synchronize. Because somehow and apparently, assassins love the scenery because without scenery there would be no uniqueness in this game right oh yeah so there will be there will be a loading screen here even when saving to a memory stick it it always saves when it's saving it has the same long loading screen about a minute so about that blending thing all right okay to blend you have to hold X while you're walking you have to release R when you're walking you're in a you're you're still walking slow you have your hands held together like in a praying position and your head down like a scholar so what baffles me is is that Altair is supposed to look like a scholar and the Templars know that I mean the Templars don't know that that he's not a scholar he's an assassin but Aren't the Templars supposed to be intelligent because scholars don't carry daggers and swords with them? They have Bibles or books or ancient scrolls that predict the future. But what? Is the AI dumb? Like, it should be when he gets close enough. Huh, curious. That guy's carrying a sword. He's not. He's a. He wears white. He's supposed to be a scholar. What the hell is going on? And you question the way of life, the director of the AI and Ubisoft itself. And you will be so screwed that Templars will be on your ass every freaking time. But no, that won't happen because the Templars don't even think of it. You're not supposed to be a scholar that you're carrying knives and swords and hidden blades. But although the hidden blade is always hidden, they won't even notice it. And here we will pawn a guy who doesn't pay attention. He likes a tree over there. Yeah, pay attention next time. Also, about the collectibles in this game, we are ab This is like the flags of the ga of the original game, but except we don't need to climb structures. It's not mandatory that we don't cl that we climb structures, but we can find these collectibles just like that one I picked up, a silver templar coin. You can pick that up anywhere, everywhere. Just when you see one, you just need to grab it. There's, I will also get an accomplishment here for 
finding a silver a gold temper coin accomplishment I need a gamer score for that so there will be about a certain amount of coins in a certain stage like this like this stage the Templar castle there are about five silver Templar coins and one gold one and the gold coin is worth more than the silver coins combined it's like 10 points while the silver Templar coins are about one <laughs>